That brings up the other aspect of this teaching, which I need to share with you guys. And this is what I, this is what I had uh, intuited while I was working with this. You know, there are seven rounds. Everything's septenary in the teaching. Like we have a sevenfold constitution represented by the I am presence, the three spirit, three in spirit and four below in physical, the I am above, the uh, the Christ self, the Buddhic self, making the higher self above, as above, so below the four lower bodies. When the so below truly is the as above, we make the ascension. And that means that we raise the lower self up and we become the higher self. So that is the ascension. What's happening here is that earth started out up here in the ungrund and then as it came into being, this is still very transparent. And it's in the first first round up in the fourth cosmic plane. It dropped into the fifth cosmic plane and it dropped into the sixth cosmic plane. And humanity is still not physical yet. When it came into the seventh cosmic plane here, which is as low as the earth is going to get, then it manifested physically. Oh. It, got so it got denser. It got denser. It's getting denser. denser and this also represents the growth of the individual as well. Yes. Eventually, we, we became dense enough to take on physical bodies. So when the earth finishes its evolution at the lowest rung of the ladder, yeah. it, will take, it will take its ascension, go into the next cosmic plane, and it will no longer be in third dimension. It will be an etheric. It will be an etheric that's planet. That's right. Yes. That's what I believe yes. it to be. So be here... Etheric, yeah is the deciding point for humanity since we have this free will. This is where will, we are right now. Huh? We can decide, well, we're just past, we're past the lowest point. Oh, good. We can decide individually because we're given free will here That's true. To, to be or not to be. Yes. So if we decide not to be, we won't make our ascension. Shakespeare. No, we'll go to, to another to planet yeah. or something. Change your yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He was explaining the whole cosmic law. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that is the teaching, is that ultimately the point of decision has to be made before the fifth round is finished, halfway. So just before, we are at the past the middle point of the fourth round, yeah. just before the middle point of the fifth round, yeah. we need to make the decision individually whether we will be or not be. And if we decide not to be, the door of opportunity will close oh, and there will be two more two more rounds and the ones who decided not to go with it will not be able to make their ascension. They won't be able no. to stay with the earth. No, that's true. They will have to wait until there's another third dimensional so planet. So you're saying we're in the middle of the fourth round, which I read before. There are all these cycles within cycles. Yes. What does 2012 mean? What does yes. the great golden age I mean, of Saint Germain mean? mean? What does any of this mean? Okay? Yeah. So that's a whole other top topic. What it amounts to is that Saint Germain is the hierarch of the seventh age. Yes. The seventh age is the seventh seven this time. Mm -hmm. So it's the 49 fires or the completion of manifestation. Does that mean the end of time at the end of this cycle, which is 2,000 years roughly? 2150 years is closer, but it's roughly 2,000 years for the Piscean Age, roughly 2,000 years for the Aquarian Age. Does that mean the end of Earth? No, it doesn't. It does mean the end of things as we know it. End of the earthly Earth? I don't know. I don't get any kind of answer on this topic, and I think it's because we're not allowed that information yet. Because I have asked, and I have asked, and I get absolute silence when it comes to that. So I said, well, obviously that information is not allowed to be released. So therefore, it's not my, I don't need to worry about it, in other words. It's not my position to bring that information right, through. Yeah. So ultimately what they're saying is that we're ending cycles. I, we work with the head Mayan priest from uh, Peru. Yeah, he teaches on what does 2012 mean. Yes. And it doesn't have a, a whole lot to do with what... Uh, 
the traditional so-called teaching that we get in books on 2012. Mm. 2012 represents the end of a sun cycle. Mm. Now, a sun cycle of what? 26,000 years. Mm. Does that mean the end of time? No, it does mean the end of a sun cycle of 26,000 years. See, most, most people on the planet believe we've only been in, in physical embodiment here four, five, ten thousand years. Bible. No. We've, we've been we've here been in, Bible. we've been in physical embodiment for nineteen million yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, a long time. <laughs> this is all according to Blavatsky mm. and Kathumi and their teaching. Yeah. So this is not something I made up or something no. that I no. discovered. This is known if you can read it. Yeah. Nineteen just under nineteen million years. Yeah. And this I came here four and a half million years ago with Sonic Kumara and St. Germain. This is a whole schedule here. And it has wheels within wheels, as in the Bible. It says wheels within wheels. In other words, there's cycles within cycles within yes. cycles. Piscean Age was roughly 2,150 years long. Mm -hmm. Jesus was the hierarch. I know you know this. Mm -hmm. But now St. Germain is the hierarch. This is, technically speaking, the last age. But in what cycle? So does that mean the end of the world in 2,000 years? Mm -hmm. Does it mean the end of the world in 2012? No, it means a change. The end of a cycle, which could mean, you know, it's time for, for everything to change down here below. I know that at one point, when the Earth goes into the next cycle, cosmic cycle, and goes into the next plane, there will no longer be any third dimensional existence. That's right. So anybody who is stuck in the third dimension will not be able to make that transition. That's right. This is done on the cosmic clock. Our own personal evolution is done not only on the cosmic clock, but on our, our decision, our choice. Am I going to ascend? So when is this happening? There's a lot, a lot of different theories on this. Everything from you know, Kali Yuga on up. But this is the idea is that when that cycle ends, we will have a transition that, that will exclude everyone who's not able to go to the next phase. They will go That's either right. into the ungrund or unformed, and they will wait for the new planet to come down into the third dimension, and they will, <laughs> like they did for Earth. Thank you.